What's going on guys, DJ Hess here, and it looks like the Annihilation map pack is coming out June 28th for Xbox already, and I'm really, really surprised that they decided to do this so quickly, considering PS3 just literally got the the newer map pack with Call of the Dead and whatnot um, this last week, so in my opinion it's a bold move, and it's it's kind of separating the, the lines between PS3 and Xbox, because P, uh, Xbox is months and months ahead of PS3 and it doesn't seem fair at all considering everybody has to pay for the content. But um, but I'm gonna do a little min minimal breakdown, nothing too fancy, so don't expect anything too crazy. There's only two parts of the new map pack that strike my fancy uh, with the Annihilation, and that's the smaller map that is gonna be kind of like Newtown, which is what they what they suggested, and then of course the zombies, um, which looks pretty badass in my opinion. But um, without further ado, here let's take a look at the very first map. Uh, that draws interest to me and at the end of the video um, stay tuned and if you haven't seen the whole preview yet um, I've attached the preview to this video alright guys so the first one that has some sort of interest to me was drive-in now drive-in is supposed to be from their description um, is supposed to be smaller like sort of like a nuketown sort of map summit and firing range which was my number one complaint for the first two map packs was that it's like they kept on creating new uh, newer and newer maps that were just ridiculously huge and I, I don't understand the point of that when most of the the maps that people like in the rotation at least from my experience were the smaller map packs um, so this was really exciting to me to see that they actually throw in a smaller one the downside to this however is is they also announced and I don't know the name of the map um, but it's it's actually the, the largest map of all the maps um, as well so if you're gonna be playing just the new map packs or, or, or trying to get in, into a lobby of just the new map packs you're gonna either it's gonna be hit or miss you're gonna have the really large map or or this one the really small one so it sounds like the other two are kind of in between the area 51 like map and um, the 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 other one but th those ones again I'm not even gonna focus on that if you stick around and watch uh, the, the trailer at the end of this video you can check it out yourself and, and give me your opinions on them but in my opinion this is the one that I'm looking forward to this one might spark back some uh, some multiplayer action for me to start playing Black Ops again because I haven't touched it in forever um, but who knows you know this 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 could reignite something considering it's kind of a small map and the graphics look decent they still look Black Opish to me um, and again I, I really actually like um, Infinity Ward's uh, rendition of, of of Call of Duty a little bit better. I just like the graphics um, a little bit better. But uh, anyway, this is that. This is this for this map. Check out the uh, the zombie map coming up here. All right, guys. So the best part of uh, the map packs recently, and and probably in all of Black Ops, has just been the zombie map packs. And in this one, hopefully, it will be no different. Um, this was supposedly Shangri La, and it looks kind of crazy, as you can see. The pack of punch is showing up in the background. Um, I'm I'm looking forward to this a lot. I'm hoping that the there's sort of a rape train sort of spot for uh, for us, but I hope it's a little bit harder to figure it out. Um, it might be a big circle or some sort. It sounds like it's it's a lot more action packed and a little quicker, which hopefully that means the spawns, the way the spawns work uh, with the zombies in in solo or even with with co-op or whatever else, uh, is a little bit more forgiving because sometimes. When you move into different locations, they start instantly spawning behind you, and um, it might be a little bit difficult to run around like that. But I'm no zombie expert. Uh, I just have fun playing it, and I hope they have something kind of new and exciting that we haven't seen in the past um, in in this. And I'm I'm curious of what the the power weapons are going to be. Uh, hopefully, they don't bring back that piece of crap VR11. Um, I'm hoping the Thunder going to be awesome, but it sounds like it'd be overpowered for for this since it's a little too small of a map. But I really, really hope they have some some sort of fun, awesome new gun. And um, as uh, you can see here, it looks like there's a little bit of a change. It looks like the monkeys um, actually. I don't know what what the deal is. I don't know if you have to shoot them to get the perks, but the the perks changed up a little bit. But um, anyway, give me your guys' thoughts. I'm not going to do too too extensive of a breakdown and I'm not going to assume anything because uh, I don't know. I just I know it's not worth really assuming what what's going on, but it looks like right there that he was shooting at the monkey, and he, he might drop the perk depending on what what you shoot him at. And it looks like there's a shoot right here that you uh, slide down 
kind of like in uh, Call of the Dead. But uh, yeah, I'm, I'm done assuming what's going to happen. I just really my hopes are they have some really cool stuff going on and uh, and and they have some fun weapons and they make it enjoyable. And I'm curious what the replacement for like the Romero will be or or the the monkeys in in um, Ascension or or the dogs in in um, the the first map pack, or whatever. I, I'm just curious what they're gonna have um, to kind of replace that. And it looks like it's a little bit more violent. I don't know if that's the case or not, but it'd be kind of cool if it was. I don't mind the bloodshed. Uh, after all, we are killing zombies. So, uh, and then this guy. I don't know if you saw this. This is like the exit part. Um, I don't know if this is a special zombie. If this is kind of like a Romero sort of situ situation or not, but. Uh, hopefully not because the, the, Romero was annoying, but it'd be cool if they brought back other characters again. That, I thought that was really cool how they brought in voice actors and then, um, Romero as, uh, as well. And a lot of my subs are some people, maybe they're not my subs, but they keep trying to correct me and tell me that his name's not Romero, that his name's George. And I'm like, dude, it's his actual name is George Romero, but, um, but that's neither here nor there. Uh, but anyway, hopefully they bring in some dope voice actors again and kind of do it the same style of ways what they were doing because they were they were definitely going in the right direction uh, that's all i have it's nothing too great of a breakdown so hope you guys weren't expecting too much but uh if you guys want to stick around check it out and you can watch the full um video below thanks Today we're talking about Annihilation, the new map pack for Call of Duty Black Ops. We have four new multiplayer maps, Hangar 18, Silo, Drive-In, and Hazard, and a new Zombies map called Shangri-La. Hangar 18 is based in the highly controversial Area 51, and it has a lot of Easter eggs that play up the conspiracy theory aspect. Hangar 18 is a medium-sized map. It has a pretty classic multiplayer gameplay structure. All the paths lead through and around the hangar. It kind of caters for all game types. So you've got your close quarters going through the, the hangar. You've also got some sniper points as well. Strategically, you want to hold down the hangar. You can work with your teammates to really control the four main flow points, then you're going to dominate the map. Silo is based on a Russian underground nuclear missile silo construction site. It's probably one of the largest maps in the entire game. Silo favors players who take their time because there's a lot of flank routes and a lot of interconnecting paths. So players who are smart and use decoys and pay attention to the mini-map are going to be more successful. You can't really stick around in one place for too long because you're going to get shot from multiple angles. You really need to learn how to play the map, how the paths flow, and you need to stay on the move. Nuketown was a really hugely successful and popular map with Black Ops, and we wanted to do another map in the DLC that kind of emulates that style of gameplay. Driving's a fairly small map, but it does have a variation of battles. You've got the wide open area in the middle, the actual driving itself, but then you do have close quarter battles down the side. So Hazard was inspired by one of our World at War maps called Cliffside, but it's a complete reimagining of it. We've actually turned it into a golf course. It's a great level. Hazard is probably one of the only maps in the game that focuses almost exclusively on long distance engagements. And the long range snipers and LMG gunners and assault rifle guys are going to have an advantage. You're definitely going to want to avoid the fairway if you're not a sniper and stick to the edges of the map where there's some more intense choke points and medium range engagements. The story in Shangri-La is shrouded in mystery. I love to leave it up to the fans to derive their own ideas from it and also discover the facts that we put in there. I hope they really get the sense that we've taken this to just a whole nother level with the new weapons, the new environment, the new ways of getting around the map and things like that. There's a lot of holding areas, escape hatches, and things that let you get out at the last minute, which is a contrast to Call of the Dead where it was a very wide open map. This is a much tighter map. Don't hold out too long. If things look like they're getting rough, get out of there. <laughs> It's time to go. With Annihilation, we had a goal that we really wanted to push the visuals in all the maps. Each map feels very unique from one another. They feel like the kind of maps that you just want to spend a lot of time in. Annihilation hits Xbox Live Marketplace on June 28th.